it's Kyle here, and as I'm sure you can notice by my background, I'm doing something a little bit different from my book review. I'm actually doing it outside. Um, in the background, you can actually see um, a view of the farm I grew up on. Um, if you'd like to see a little bit more of the farm I grew up on, I just posted a video on my personal channel. Sorry, my personal channel with a really in-depth tour of the farm. So if you're interested in seeing more, um, head over to my personal channel. I'll probably post a link in the video description of this video. Sorry, the description in this video, <laughs> that probably was a little repetitive, um, of a link to the farm tour video. So in case you want to see it, you can just follow the link and um, watch the tour. But anyway, the book I'm reviewing today is The Last Babylon by Pat Frank. Um, this book was actually written in 1959 and it actually deals with um, the Cold War nuclear tensions between the Soviet Union and the U.S. Um, the main character of this book is Randy. His brother is in the United States Air Force and um, he gets a letter from his brother um, that has some various stuff in it but it ends with a key phrase, Alas Babylon, and when Randy sees this he knows there's something bad going on because that was a code for, between the two brothers of when they were growing up that something bad was going to happen. It's actually taken from a verse in the Bible. So any time when the brothers would say Alas Babylon it was kind of code where something bad is going to happen. Um, so um, Randy and their brother, uh, his brother, kind of set up a meetup, and that's when um, Randy's brother kind of tells him um, he's pretty sure a nuclear war between the Soviet Union and the United States is fixing to start. He asks Randy to kind of um, take in his family and kind of watch over them as um, the brothers deployed to um, a nuclear base in the U.S. that if the Soviet Union attack, um, a response will be launched from the space, and he knows his family won't be safe there, so he wants um, Randy to kind of watch after the family. So Randy agrees to do this, and actually when Randy gets back to his um, hometown in Florida, he actually warns you know, a lot of his neighbors in the town people um, you know, that something bad is going to happen, but a lot of people kind of ignore him. They don't really believe him. Randy had kind of came almost like the town drunk, so a lot of people didn't really respect him. But then, um, to everyone's surprise, Randy was right. Um, one day the nuclear attack happens. They start seeing um, bright flashes in the distance sky. They're not exactly sure what happens. Uh, you know, some think it might be a nuclear attack, but then they know for sure when a flash happens very close to the town, and it's actually, um, they figure out later, it's actually Orlando being destroyed by a nuclear strike. Um, that bomb was actually close enough. A few of the people that lived in the town who were staring directly at the blast when it happened were actually blinded. So the book mainly deals with the period after the nuclear attack. The small little Florida town is kind of cut off from the rest of the world. They don't know what's happened, who survived, you know, is the U.S. government still functioning. Um, they don't know anything. Um, the town's completely cut off from the rest of the world. And um, Randy um, kind of arises to the challenge. Like I said, at the beginning of the book, he's kind of um, almost the town loser, the town drunk. Well, he really kind of responds very well to this crisis situation. He becomes almost the de facto leader of the town. Um, every chapter of the book almost deals with like a different little emergency that people in the town face, you know, um, medicine supplies running low, um, some food shortages. Um, at one point in the book they kind of realize people are starting to get sick and they realize because there's been a lack of salt in their diet so they have to find a natural source of salt so they go in search of that. Um, various processes that you can imagine would arise when a large group of people are kind of cut off from the modern world that they're used to and they have to kind of find their way living very simply. Um, so all those little mini crises and stuff um, lead to many you know, interesting and exciting adventures. But the part of the book I really love is um, how the different characters in the book react to this situation. Like I said, Randy responds very well to it. He almost grows up and becomes a, a better person because of it. It almost forces him you know, to take life more seriously. Others don't respond so well. They almost, you know, they can't handle the pressure. Um, you have people committing suicide. Some people who are, you know, kind of honorable leaders before the attack um, start, um, you know, hoarding food or stealing stuff from other people. You have people that kind of turn to life of them being, you know, road bandits kind of to kind of make out a living. Um, so it's interesting, like I said, to see how each of the characters kind of develop and change as a result of this nuclear war. And now they come to figure out a way to survive and how to make a life for themselves in this kind of post-nuclear war world. Sorry. Um, so it's really, really a good book because of that, like I said, you really become to really love the characters. You really are rooting for, you know, your favorite ones to survive and the ones you kind of, kind of don't really like, you know, maybe something bad happened to them. But great book. I'm not going to go into too much details because it's a fairly short book and if I 
much, much more detail. I'd give away a lot of key plot points. So again, like I said, I'd highly recommend you go and read A Last Babylon by Pat Frank. Absolutely love it. It's probably one of my uh, top ten favorite books of all time, I'd guess. And um, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you'd like to see a little video tour of my farm, just head over to the, my personal channel or follow the link in the description box for this video. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the